One minute, guys. Ugh. This is in C. C is in cat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, outside? Do you believe in outside? <laughs> outside? Outside? <laughs> what is this? Some shit? Oh, you missed it every time. <laughs> 30 seconds. I'm sorry. I want to make sure I got this stuff done. Cool, we got it. You missed the third time. I'm not going to give you that. I'm sorry. Look, show it to me like after the show. <laughs> Fifteen seconds, guys. It's in C. Five, four, three, two, one. C's rolling. Next on the news at 10, a historic day in Alabama's civil rights movement, the events leading up to Bloody Sunday. Plus, a new bill introduced has lawmakers divided. And what does the knife found at O.J. Simpson's former estate mean? It's a and we've seen mild temperatures and lots of sunshine. What can we expect for tomorrow? All those details and weather. Stick around. To the view, news at 10 four, is next. Three. We out. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. All right, we're gonna push in because we bout that around here. Is that what we bout? We're about the news around here. <laughs> about it, about it, like we master P. Open push Q cam open two box. Then Taylor's got a fancy package. Thirty seconds. The package would be an A as an apple. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it. Start your push. State Somebody Representative your next Steve Hurst is proposing a bill that targets sex Perfect. Offenses. Like it. Good evening. I'm Jabari Pruitt. This bill is being introduced for the second time. Roll it. In tonight's top story, WB, Simba and Taylor. Taylor Mooney joins us live now with more. Taylor. Jabari, if Taylor's House up. Bill 365 Packages in A, guys. Law, it will change some convicted sex offenders for Take life. his name down. A's up. The bill calls for sex offenders over the age First of First one comes in at 22, 22 seconds. This whole package is 114. Offenses against children 12 years old and younger. Ooh, this would quell the sex drive of male sex offenders by lowering. Someone's gonna think he shot this and went to a jail. It would not render any permanent physical damage to the body. Yeah, he does. All this is file. Understand prison. Here she is. You know, She's in until 30. Prison for a very, very long time for some kind of crime like that, but. Stand by to pull her. Pull her. Yeah, he doesn't have a generic CG. Out of there. The next one comes in at 38. Representative Hurst sees it as Stand a positive Steve. impact on society. People call You're Steve. In the past when I've introduced Steve's in until 44. I think this is uh, inhumane. And I asked them, what's more inhumane when you take a little infant child and you say some blood stuff about the child when that child cannot defend itself? Uh, Keith comes in at 59, 59 to 105. If you want to talk about inhumane, that's inhumane. Others support the bill. Somebody that Boom. won't mess a little girl or a little boy that age. Stand by the pull up. They shouldn't be able to mess Take no it down. Kid. We got 10 seconds out. Q is fit the crime. They have marked this child for life. And I feel like this. Stand by on Taylor's mic. Fit the crime. And Taylor's up. Alabama wouldn't be the first state to experiment with castration. Nine other Whoa. states have already got on board. Reporting live, Taylor Mooney, WVUA 23. Take it down. News. And he's up. All right, Taylor, thank you. The city of Tuscaloosa says $35 million dollars Open the weather. for construction on a series of projects, according to the Tuscaloosa News. Stand by the open. Go to mostly road projects. Roll it. But well, turning our attention now to the weather, meteorologist Peter Frank is in with the first look at the forecast. Peter, good evening. Good evening, Jabari. We saw a great day today. Lots of sunshine, mild temperatures. All right, let me get an OTS. On the chilly side. We start off about 34 here. I'm in sorry, Texas not you. I'm talking to the camera operator. But plenty of sunshine throughout the day today allowed us to warm on up. You can see that we are dealing with high pressure moving into our northwest, bringing us a northwesterly breeze. But that's also giving, what is giving us the sunny skies across the area. Temperatures this afternoon hit the upper 60, 68 here in Tesco to 70. 
up in Jasper. And we're going to see more of Warm Air as we head into the rest of the weekend. Overall, we have some great headlines coming up. Mild and sunny weekend, but even warmer as we start the work week next week. There coming back to an OTS. Forecast, though. That was, I'll have those details coming up in Maine weather, but for tomorrow, oh. plenty of sunshine, temperatures topping out right around 70 degrees. Jabari? Mike, Peter, thank you. Well, Sam, like Sam is marking the 51st Bloody Sunday anniversary. Seas full. Back on March 7th, 1960. Coming back to another OTS. Billy clubs and tear gas to marchers as they try to walk across the Edmund Pettus Bridge to Montgomery fighting for voting rights. Thousands will be in Selma on tomorrow for the annual uh, crossing of the Edmonds. Send by coming back out to Jabari. And we will have a crew in Selma and have complete coverage tomorrow night at 10. He's up. And He's if up. it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Those famous words gave O.J. Simpson a get-out-of-jail-free card. Now, fast forward 21 years later, there's new developments. Police are testing a knife that was allegedly found on Sat Simpson's former estate more than a decade ago. They were testing for blood, uh, DNA, yeah, we'll... and fingerprints. And Simpson was acquitted of killing his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. Take it, he's up. So already we know that the This is 20 seconds coming back out to Jabari, and then we're on a Q cam, then we're going to pan to an OTS. Time, It'll be a Q no cam first, though. Take up a little bit on him. So this would not be admissible. 10 seconds, take his name down. Proceeding. But as I said, history doesn't have to be flawed. Five no seconds, I'll cue this was relevant. I'm as curious as anybody else to find out if this was relevant. And Jabari's up. Matt Simpson cannot be tried again for the crime because... Uh, it's, we're going to keep it as a cue camp. And presidential candidates Donald uh, Trump make and pan. Hillary Clinton are vying to keep their front-runner status. Packages in there, guys. A's up. And I lied. Now he's up. Momentum is on the side of Hillary I got scared. Clinton My last Donald video was going. This is up from 0 to 5. In three of the first four contests, both poised to pick up the bulk of today's delegates. Voting in for uh, Bernie Sanders said oh, no matter what happens... Just go. The next thing you're going to need is going to be former President Bill Clinton tomorrow. campaign today. Uh, yeah. Yep. I don't have CG times. I don't have... Uh, no, your CG is going to be Donald, Ted, and Robin. I don't have CG times for them. Also in his home state today, yeah, just leave it there on former president. That's going to be the next story we go to. Uh, I, don't, I have the CGs. I just don't have the times. Uh, well, I guess we didn't have one for Bernie Sanders. Here's Ted. It's going to be a quick pull. Stand by to take it offline. Take it down. Ronald. All right. We know who Don looks like. We'll stand by on Robin. He's also looking to bat back Marco Rubio, who launched his strongest attacks yet on Trump at Thursday's debate and hasn't let up. Today, the front runner, at least according to you the don't national have him, polls so in the we'll Republican wait. primary, is someone who is preying on your anger, is someone who is preying on fear. Trump is already looking beyond today's contests, campaigning in Ohio. Clinton, meanwhile, making stops in Minneapolis, wouldn't say outright she's planning to face him in the fall. Uh, cool. I did not have that CG. Take that down. Uh, don't take any more. Because that's for our next story. He's up. And former president Bill okay. Clinton campaigned yeah. today for his wife Hillary in Detroit. All right, I have. Yep, I want that one. But I'm gonna go to the full screen myself. You don't need it. I need my next OTS and, and take it down. Home, take it down. Runoff race in Tuscaloosa County. The I had to wait first. Take it down. No, I need my OTS. Incumbent Reginald Murray will go up against challenger Greg Lynn Roberts. Let me get the OTS. Alabama's primary yes, runoff I do. election is I need April twelfth. Cool. And he's up. Uh, it was a perfect day to enjoy the sun. Uh, Standby packages today. A's up. First CG comes in at 16, 16 to 22. Wiping the B next. They brought out hundreds of people from all over the country to raise up their shooters at the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater, including this kid from Louisiana. I've Boom. only gotten to running because of my brother. Comes out of 22. Stand by to take him out. Take him out. The run will benefit organizations. 31 to 37 is our next one. Reed Bamari, Boys and Girls Club of West Alabama, Arts and Autism, and the Kiwanis Club. And one runner had this piece of advice for beginners. Get out there. Do what you can do the first day and try to do a little bit more the next day. Big take Allen, it. the Chick fil A mascot, even came out to show Oh, uh, we got 30 seconds in package. I'll cue a standard. Some people ran, others are their own. 
all that pride you get by saying, yeah, you finished. Congratulations to the 5K winners. Connor 10 Salisbury seconds. And Olivia Mann. And the Wiping to be next. Brandon Deaton and Fontaine Haskell. In Tuscaloosa, Chris Ruffin, WDUA 23 News. Mike Jabari. And the Moundville Archaeological Park was the place to be. Stop the OCC, guys. Hunting and we'll take it live. American life. Volunteers were helping rebuild the park steps. The Saturday in the Park series officially starts next Saturday. Take it. This is our park, uh, Saturday in the Park. Why we'll to a video on A next? People uh, come in and they talk about some of the various. Uh, I'll cue us talk about basket. Come and talk about basket weaving. And uh, Mike him. Now, the demonstrations at the park will include carving, pottery, hunting, and fishing. And, and the A's fourth up. annual chili cook off was held at the first Stop Christian Church in the next. Now, people were able to eat chili and vote on their favorite. Now, all the proceeds go to the Soup Bowl. And take it. He's up. This is 10 seconds out. Q is proud to do it. Teasers next, guys. It's hungry. It's your responsibility. It's our responsibility. Yo, we'll continue. We'll and uh, we're proud to do it. Mike him. Now, organizers say they hope to continue Stand by and get teased. next year. Roll it, music. And still to come on the news at 10, have you ever Stand by mass control. be a few inches taller? Well, that's the fact. They have the answer. We'll explain when we come back. Three, two, one, and... I should let that roll. We're out. It was a gorilla. All right, we're doing that fancy thing where we take camera one and swing it around, guys. Oh, yeah, and then during the package, Garrett, he's going to go over to the big screen with Peter. For the okay, week. the big screen. Okay, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. He's up. And growing Packages taller doesn't it. have to be a pipe dream. Well, as long as you can spend time in space, one astronaut who spent almost a year at the International Space Station can testify to that. Here's Jenny Moose. Hey, he's up. If your answer to this Jenny Moose. Jenny Moose. Do you wish you could grow taller? Is yes. You could try this CG stays up till 50, and then you're going to take it live at 50 to uh, Dr. Jennifer something. Yeah. Or you could do what Commander Scott Kelly did, go to space for almost a year. Scott Kelly back on Mother Earth. Kelly Make sure Jabari doesn't block him out the big screen. Have his, uh, make sure that stool is outside of the monitor. It's a phenomenon called spinal elongation. Without yeah, no, I didn't want her yet. I wanted her at 50. The vertebrae, the space between discs expands nah, I wanted her at 51. The spine gets longer. Nah, don't because ignore what that script says. We're going by my script. Scott Kelly is being measured against his twin, former astronaut Mark Kelly. She's coming up again. Theoretically, he'd be a little Stand bit by. taller than his brother. It actually goes away pretty yeah. quickly, so when you get re-exposed to gravity, as he walks around. Pull her out. He's already back to his old size. Yeah. Sometimes the increase in an astronaut's height even requires NASA all right. to go up the next up three, we're all going to do back to back to back. It comes in at 121 will be the first one, and then you'll take it live at 127, and then we're going to take it live. I'll just tell you to take it. When Isaiah Thomas heard about the size increase, the Celtics Stand by on it. tweeted, I need to go to space ASAP. Jenny moves to be first. Now, if you think that Here's this Jenny. is no big deal, hey, a measly inch has become part Stand of the presidential take it live. debate. He's always hey, called Marco. little Marco. And I was Stand by, we're going to take the next one. He's like six two. Actually, take Donald. Six three, not six two, but he said cool. Well, and then pull Donald. Space isn't going to make your hands any bigger, Donald. As for testing, All right, we got 20 ish seconds. About 20 ish seconds left. Zoom out a little bit on camera three. Silence of space. You have an open. All right. Oh. oh, never mind. Well, let me some weather music when we come back. And weather, weather music. Of course, I have to ask the stand on something just to kind of match your height, so maybe I should go to the space That's station. right. You and Isaiah Thomas should be on the next trip up there. I'll be looking into it. Anything just gives me just a little bit tough. Yeah, you know. Before we go to break, let's get a little check of that forecast. Well, as you can see behind us, plenty of sunshine for us tomorrow and warm temperatures. All the details on that and the work week forecast coming up right after the break. Three, two, one, and we're out. All right. No two shot. We're going straight to the uh, green screen. Huh? They look a little hot in that shot. Yeah, they do. They were a little shiny. We'll stand by on the open. Three, two, one. Roll it. Michael. Plenty of sunshine today and sunshine tomorrow as well. Warm temperatures along with that for the day tomorrow. We'll be in the upper 60s 
uh, in lower 70s by the afternoon hours. A few clouds to go into the afternoon, but overall, sunshine is the story for us this weekend. Great conditions across the area. We've seen that across much of the central U.S. There have been a few showers off to our north and east uh, as that low pressure continues to track across the Great Lakes. Oh, yeah, good. This Otherwise, time, take it, yes. I like it when we take it, like on the uh, national the maps. Midwestern portions of the U.S. Just because, like, we're not covering up the Alabama the forecast. Of days. No one watching this cares about Houston or Mexico or Miami. Temperatures. You take so it that's out. great news to see. Satellite radar shown as clear across much of central Alabama for the day today. No rain for us today. video will be in A. We got basketball highlights. But other than that, we got a lot of basketball highlights today. And plenty of sunshine as well throughout the day. 47 is our current temperature at the 10 o'clock hour. It's still 55 up there in Birmingham. 55 as well as you head north toward Gadsden. We're going to see temperatures cooling off overnight tonight, but they will quickly rebound thanks to plenty of sunshine. A clear sky tonight. But as you go into the day, you do have a coming up uh, segment open though, right, right here. Back up by okay. noon on your Sunday, expect to see plenty of sunshine across the area, and that'll continue into the evening hours. Fantastic. As well. By 9 p.m., we should stay mainly clear uh, for us here in central Alabama. A few clouds work their way in as we go into the first half of the day on Monday. That make you I never realized Montgomery was so far away. As we go into Monday morning, 30. but there will be plenty of sunshine through the afternoon hours as well. Meaning we're going to see warm temperatures even into Monday evening. The warm air will continue along with sunshine right. into the day on Tuesday. I always just imagine clouds. Birmingham and Montgomery being so much closer together than they are. But this probably what, probably what, three hours from Montgomery to Birmingham, two and a half. So it's a little shorter. Oh, I guess so. You got to come here. Okay, stand by on the Oak Grab a jacket if you head out this evening, but Sports music. it's going to be warm as you go into the day tomorrow. Okay. Temperatures across the area will be into those upper Andrew Barr's mic, but only if you want to do it. Tomorrow, if you don't want to do it, we don't got to do it. Breeze across the area. And also be aware, the allergy forecast That's fair. for the next several days is high if you are allergic to tree pollen. Maple, elm, and alder are LOL. three trees that we are concerned with at this point. And we'll continue to let you I'll know. I'll be a pollen uh, allergy. Those change over the next several days. Oh, Speaking of the next several days, we are looking at very nice conditions for the next couple of days. And if we look at uh, Sunday specifically, here we are looking at Monday. Ooh. Beach nice. showing for the next several days, clearing skies across this the area. This is cool. great news for us here in central Alabama. As we go into the rest of the work week, we're going to see plenty of warm air for Tuesday and Wednesday, 76 both days. Weather's clear. Rain makes its way back into the areas we go late into Water the work fair. week with temperatures cooling off just a bit with highs Saturday in the upper 60s. Jabari? Michael, music, right, Peter, open. Thank you. Roll it. Next in sports, still in basketball play for the SIH championship game in Birmingham. Stay by mass control. Three, two, one. We're out. Roll it. Good evening, everybody. I'm Zach Tigert. The Alabama basketball team was in Athens, Georgia today, looking to close out their regular season with a win over the Georgia Bulldogs. Senior day for Georgia. In the first half, Alabama down four points, but Shannon Hill from beyond the arc drains it. Tied now down only one. Georgia trying to pull All right, with away. this one, we'll leave it in for about Senior five or six more seconds, the and then you'll take it down, up by five. and then the we'll take the score when he calls Alabama for it. With the lead after a big run. Shannon Hale again, this time for two. He finished you can pull with 25 it. points to lead the tie, but Georgia's starting to pull away. Yante Matin with the slam. UGA goes up by three. We'll but take it live down, from the score CG to the two. next one. Not enough, we'll go to though, Vandy Alabama basketball. Loses to Georgia. They finish up. 8 and 10 in the conference, 17 and 13 overall in Avery Johnson's first year as head coach. Following the loss, Alabama will be the number 10 seed in the SEC tournament. Take they the will yes, score. Ole Miss on March 10th in Nashville. Take it. In other hoops action, Texas A&M hosting Vanderbilt. Looking Full screen's to next. Clinch a share in the SEC regular season title. First quarter, Aggies up by four before Big Jalen Jones slams one down. Yeah, I'm gonna, like Aggies in my script. Their dominance go up take that down. Six. Second half now, and the Aggies. We'll do the same. I'm going to take it myself to go to my first quarter. Pass to Miller. Another dunk. a and won't let up. The Aggies clinch a share. Stand by my sports music. Season title. They beat Vandy Score. 76 to 67. Around the rest of music. the SEC now, Mississippi State. Wiping to a video on C next. Starkville, 79 to 66. See Kentucky one is hot. LSU, 94-77. Arkansas falls to South Carolina, 76-61. And Ole Miss takes down Tennessee on Rocky Top. Somebody wiping the seat. Florida handles Mizzou. Seize up. Stillman College playing in the SIAC nice basketball got him. championship game this evening. Coming back to Zach on camera two after this. Magicians feeling at home in Birmingham. 
There's Watson with a jump hurdle going home and out. All right, you take down that. But the Tigers, don't count them out. They come roaring back. Ronald Singleton in the paint gets the tough two, and it was a close contest in the first half. Later on, Rodnarius Lewis with a three, and Stillman. They would go on to win 90-76 in the Magic City. Congratulations to the Stillman Tigers. I'll take it out myself and come back. AC champions. And he's up. The Alabama down. High School Basketball State Championship wrapped up hot. today at the Legacy Arena in Birmingham. Next video is in there. It all started today with the Central Lady Falcons and the Winona Lady Dragons. Winona, Winona. looking to win three straight championships. And then we're going to back to back full screen. In the third quarter, Lady Dragons have a big lead with Trinia Pitt off a rebound. And the Falcons, they are going down without a fight. Winona still leading comfortably. Courtney Smith, three down, down. three corner. They go up by 30. Winona, they cruise to their third straight title, Score. 58 to 33. Same about my music. As for the music. rest of the girls' bracket, it looks a little like this. Your 1A champions are the Spring Garden Panthers oh, in 2A. Ooh, music the guy. Sands, the Tigers in 3A. Lauderdale County once more, five straight state championships, 13 all-time. He's going to say in boys' play, that's going to be our cue. Deshra, they defeat Cincy Valley, as we just saw Winona. In the 5A bracket, they beat Central in 6A before. Wins the crown and in 7A, Jeff Davis defeats McGill Tula. Take it. Over in the boys' play, 1A championship went home to Sacred Heart and Aniston. Lynette going to video on B next, guys. Madison Academy, they go back to back in 3A. Westminster Christian, they bring home their first title in school history in 4A. J.O. Johnson defeats Faith Academy for the 5A crown. In 6A, the title goes to Homewood. And in 7A, McGill Tula. Stand by, we're going to be next. To Mobile. Congratulations to all the winners. Hey, the music Over down, the leave it down. And B's up. Back in Tuscaloosa, Alabama softball playing in day two. Give me my next full screen Classic. graphic. Game one, and a double header against That's DePaul. going to be what we come to next. And Peyton Grantham, she goes the score is going to be in that full screen, I think. Stand by on Alabama the, uh, goes up 10 to 4. They go on to beat DePaul 12 for the final in game one. Game two, North Dakota uh, State. They add on to their lead here with an RBI from Zoe Stavru. The back runner thrown out at the plate. North Dakota State goes up 2 0 through four. Alabama now trying to pull off the seventh inning win. They get on board. Marissa Runyon Stand by draws a walk music. while the bases are loaded. Bama now only down by one. It was an exciting inning, but North Dakota State gets out of the jam. Stand by on sports music. Here, and that would do it. North Dakota State wins 2 to 1. Music. Alabama split the doubleheader. Sots and Seagulls. Game. Coach Murphy praised North Dakota State. Seize up. Fade it down. We'll pull the sound all the way up on this. In the second game, we just this is 25 seconds. Out Q is to do one offense. And, you know, we have the, D defense. I lie. What am I saying? Take this name down. And, you know, as baseball and to do on defense. They're, um, Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, and tonight it wasn't our, our day, but you really have to credit North Dakota State. They played a hell of a game. Their pitcher pitched a great game. Five seconds. And they made all the plays they needed to do on defense. Mike Zach. Alabama baseball playing in the second Step game. Step control. USA baseball classic in North Carolina. The tie took down Niagara 8-4 to four in game one of a doubleheader. In game two, Alabama faced the 8th wow, ranked bro. North Carolina. You really just not in it tonight. Pack. <laughs> Close game, but Alabama falls two to one. The Tide wrap up the tournament against Brown tomorrow afternoon at 11 a.m. Three. That's looking sports. Stand by mass control. Right after this. Three, two, one. We're out. Hey, we got time coming back. Oh, scary. I don't know what to do it this time. Should we go out there and dance? Six, five. Four. Coming down in the video, guys. Three. Two, one. Mike Jabari. And finally tonight, the world's best known dog. Three shots up next. Was held in Alaska today. The idiot rise of Ray. Whoa, whoa. Now there are 85 mushrooms this year, each with 16 dogs on the average. Now, the goal is to complete a wrong, course right? that runs almost a thousand miles across the state. <laughs> Now, organizers have a problem. Stand by, we're coming out to our three shots. Snow to start the race, so organizers have to haul snow from Fairbanks. Mike, everybody. Now, that is just interesting. You know, you don't have enough snow, so you never heard of the idiot rise race. What if someone said I did a ride? Please, someone correct them. I mean, there's so much snow here, they can just practice, you know, year round. <laughs> but you know, uh, one uh, I guess one minute show, guys. Exciting day, one minute college. You know, they have been having a pretty 
sport in the sports arena, you know, tough year, and this was actually a exciting news today. Yeah, they got most of their sports cut. Basketball, though, mm -hmm. bringing home an SIAC, SIAC championship tonight. Exciting stuff for Stillman. Big news for them. All right. And, of course, Peter, you know, today was a beautiful day. We had a run at basketball, and, you know, we learned how to get a little bit taller. 30 you know, seconds. Or 35. Right? <laughs> yeah. We've grown a few inches. It's just been a great sports day. Exactly. All right. They just talked it all away. As well, if we take a look at the headlines for the next couple of days, mild and sunny tomorrow. Reed, I'm going to come back out to your shot. For, us, for the work week ahead. But there is rain on the Stand way. Stand by, Later portions of the work week. The seven day does show that. 76 Tuesday. Stand by my music. But showers and thunderstorms back in the forecast Thursday through Saturday. Next week. And you're up, Reed. Right, Peter, thank you. Well, that's it for us. We're back here again tomorrow night. So then have a great night. Three, two, one. We out. Hey. The video's a little soft.